going to do today is clean my filters. We're going to clean this hose lock uh, Bioforce Revolutionary first. I'm going to do the way they suggest with the handles, turning it so many times and then you let the water out. But every so often I strip it and clean it. So today I'm going to strip it down and clean it to the best of my abilities. Uh, the only issue is I can't find my tripod so I might have to film it in stages or film it another way round. Uh, but we'll see. So I'll be back in a second. I'm just going to take all the old bubble wrap off from the winter since it's summer now and then I'll start recording. Put my plant and drain this pipe back into the grid and I'm going to turn the pump back on and then we'll see what comes out of the but we'll see what comes out then of the dirt out of the filter. So we switch it back on the pump and there's the outlet pipe and there we go. So you can see it's green from the algae that's in the pond at the moment. I have been treating it with some stuff, but it does take some time. I didn't want to use clover leaf this time because it clogs up all your filters and makes such a mess of your, your pond it's uh, all the black stuff floating in it. So as you can see now it's going clear and once it runs completely clear we'll stop the pump, take the filter off and strip it down. I won't show you taking the filter off but once I've taken it off before I take the top off, I'll bring it over to this side and we can work on it. So there we are, now we're clear. You can see all the rubbish there in it. It's absolutely disgusting. Now they say that you're supposed to clean it every six months. Take it apart like this and clean it. But you can see it's absolutely disgusting. And that stays in there and it can harbour bacteria. So that's why they call them death cans because the amount of rubbish to leave behind. This is the first stage. What I'll do, I'll clean this out and then I'll get back to you. I've got three or four buckets of pond water in here and they're swilling it round. But you can see already how filthy this water is. And according to Oslock, once you've turned that handle and give it a good cleaning, a good running through of the water and you put this in another bucket to make sure it's clean don't know what that is we've got something sprouting in there look so I'm doing it cleaning up the big part of the muck out there and then in a secondary bucket clean it a bit more and then what I'll do, I'll tip that one back into the canister that I've already cleaned where it goes. And once I've done this, I'll uh, get back to you and show you how much muck there is in the bottom of this uh, bucket. Back to you in a bit. What I'm doing, like you can see, I'm putting it in a second bucket with clean pond water in and giving it another clean around so it gets rid of most of it 
and then it goes back in its original container. But you can see how how dirty that one is. Never mind the state of that one. And, and they say that turning that handle ten times its way is enough to give it a good clean. I don't think so. Anyway, I'll carry on and I'll get back to you. One thing is the North Cold in Stoke. I have to wait for my friend to come across to lift that across because with having issues at me up with my arm, I can't uh, lift it very good. So this is the one I've been washing out in and I've been changing it every so often. You can still see it still looks a bit grubby but a lot better than what it was. So this is the second bucket for cleaning and look at that. Look how disgusting that is. Oh, we left a piece there, don't know. There. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to do the the main bucket. Over here we turn it. And I'm going to try to turn it. There we go. On the slow side. So this is coming out. Now look at that. See it all coming out. It is absolutely look at it. It is absolutely disgusting. Look at it. And they say the handle cleans it. Look how much shit is coming out. Look. And look at the bottom. And they say turning that handle is enough to keep your filter clean every couple of weeks. And that's what I do. You turn it ten ways one way, ten ways the other way, sometimes a lot more. And when it stops being dirty, it's supposed to be clean. But I do that a few times, not just the once, three or four times. And it looks clean enough, but when you strip it down, you can see how much rubbish there is in the filter itself. I did go uh, contact Oslock and told them that it wasn't very good at cleaning, and it's not really that good at filterization as well. That's why... I had to put the black box on there as a secondary because this wasn't taking, keeping the pond waters in the quality that the fish deserve. So that's why I got both of them on. I thought I'll put the black one on and once it's aged I'll take this one out and then just run that one. But I, I'm basically using this one now for the UV. So we'll get back on it and once I get over to uh, cleaning uh, the plastic uh, media at the bottom I'll get back to you that the plastic media was and you can see that's uh, string algae so I'm not too concerned about that but I want to see what is actually at the bottom of this bucket so we're going to tip it up slowly like we did before and pour it in the grid turn it a bit more there we go, nice and slowly. But you can see, look at it. Look how much rubbish there is there. And God, look at it. Look, sand in the bottom, I don't know where that's from. And all that, that was there in the middle, look. That's where your bacteria is going to be hiding. And if we get these, this is most of the algae, so I'm not going to bother about the algae, but I'm going to clean it all anyway like I did earlier. So what I'm going to do now is get a can of pond water and give that a good cleaning out. But I can't understand how they can say by turning the handle we'll clean all the sponges, all the bio filtering and the mechanical filtering and leave your, your filter prestigious, clean, really clean, but it doesn't. This looking at it really needs stripping down every time it needs cleaning. This handle is just a load of rubbish, just a waste of time. So I'm looking at replacing it, I've been looking 
I've been looking at a drum, but I can't afford four grand, three and a half grand for a drum. Uh, then I looked at uh, the Easy Pod self clean. I know it's not as good as a drum, but it, I think it's going to give me better, better quality water than this. Because you've seen this one, and then once I've run the pond for 10 minutes, I'll show you the first compartment of the black box filter to see how much rubbish is getting past this. Uh, so, like I say, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to clean this, put it all back together, switch the pump on for five minutes, and I'll drain the black box filter out, and I'll get back to you so you can see how much rubbish still passes this so-called all-in-one filter that does everything. So, back to you in a minute. There's me black box working again and the O's block by 04 so I cleaned it all out like you saw when I put it back on I turned the handle 20 times each way and then pump the water through after to make sure all the dirt's out the sponges and the bio stuff but you could see how much dirt there was and this is I'm going to take this out and show you in a bit so this is the sponges, the coarse sponges, and then you have the fine sponges at the front, the biotech. I had to put this one in because this wasn't stopping the large particles, even though I took it back to the shop uh, three times and they said it was working perfectly, but it wasn't. I've just seen the water drip somewhere. Yeah, there, on that pipe there's a water drip, it's probably coming. Off there, see you. It could be from when it was down on the floor. But I'll look at that. But I need to put a stop valve in before, so when I do work on my filters, it kills the water on the pipe. I have bought some, I just haven't got round to, to doing anything. So I'm just getting my host pipe ready to fill it up and then I'll put my dechlorinator in. But first, I want to show you the state of this uh, box filter. Now this technically, after it's come out of this Bioforce uh, filter, there's an illusion. there shouldn't be nothing in it, or very minimal anyway. Now this I cleaned last week so I need to show you again. This is out of my first component, compartment of my black box filter. After it's been through the hose lock, so you tell me of the size of this dead out you can get through the hose lock I can't work it out to me it isn't supposed to be getting past it but it does so if this black box hadn't been in line all this would have been back in my pond dirty in it like I say I phoned hose lock twice first time on the outline I got through to to a person after a half an hour trying to explain to her how it worked and one thing or another and what was happening she put the phone down on me I phoned again and this time I got through to a gentleman and uh, he, uh, he, w he was no use he says make sure the phones aren't crushed and one thing or another make sure you're cleaning it regularly well all that's I'm doing so I took it back to the shop where I bought it the local shop in Stoke and they weren't bothered they weren't interested now this supposed to have a three year guarantee on but how can you do anything with a guarantee when they won't honour it when you call to tell them what's happening you get nowhere with them they aren't interested you have, they've had your money the customer service at uh, both places uh, the Koya shop and Old Lot themselves were second to none so like I say these that old lock to me is a death trap. I like to say I want to uh, I want to change it for a drum filter, but I can't afford. So the only thing I think I can do is get the Easy Pod self cleaning and set it to clean once or twice a day. I think that'll give me a better a better water quality than what I've got with the these two. Don't get me wrong, the black box is fantastic. You can see it really does its job. But the hose lock, it does nothing. It doesn't stop anything. And they say when I asked them about it, they said it was working normal. It went back to the shop. They said they tested it and it wasn't passing any uh, any large debris through. Well, you can see for yourself that it's there. It's covered.
and it, like in the basket it's covered you can see it and if I go over it to the to the filter here we go this is the mechanical one but you can see it in there look at it all in there so that to me shouldn't be going through tell me if I'm wrong or tell me if I've made a mistake somewhere and put me right but like I say to me all that isn't supposed to be in them filters it's absolutely disgusting and it's disgusting of those lock when you call them they just ignore you and put the phone down so that's my opinion anyway uh, so I'll go I'll put this back together give it to cleaning put it back together and when I'm filling the pond I'll put some uh, bacteria killer in uh, and uh, water dechlorinator so I'll speak to you again once I finish that bit speak to you soon so I put the dechlorinator in I put uh, the Vicron in to kill the bacteria if there's anything in the bottom of that canister and I'm filling it up now and that's it then for this this one let me know what you think about which filter to, to get or to use or if you think I'm making a mistake with the canister filter somehow and it's my mistake that's letting the rubbish into the the, uh, the box filter it'd be interesting to know your thoughts so please like subscribe and uh, have a good weekend so from now on uh, bye from Andrew James